Okay. Okay, now we have split it out. What we should do is like now write it where context dot write and our what we are trying to generate out of it is text. Okay, so provide key as um, Okay, uh, it should be in write table. Why? Because we need to generate the number. That is this number, right? So this would be key and this would be the value. So because this key would be the common key from both the mapper, they will be joined in the shuffle and short and the list of value to be your text. So basically we need to change it to in write table text. And if it is changed, we need to change here, let's say output. Uh, map output key class would be in write table instead of text. Uh, are you getting me? Why we change this like that? Okay, now in write table text, and we are defining key as in write table. So just generate in write table new in write table. Key would be words and uh, the zero element, but uh, since it is a string, we need to pass it. We should say in teacher dot parse end and then give this string for parsing it to in int. This is new element, and the text value would be new text and just pass words first that's it okay now here we need to change long writable text and this should be in writable here also it will change seems all good so this is the first mapper now let's copy all of them create one more mapper called join mapper 2 the code would be identical only the thing is change the class name. Okay, so why? Because the input format that we are providing to this mapper is also like a limited data. Okay, so we are reading long writable text and generating int writable and text out of it. Okay, so again the same code. Now what we need to write is reduce our code. So write what is the name of our reducer? Is extends a reducer it will have a long long write table sorry uh, it will have int write table as key in, key value pair input key int write table input key text as input key and it should generate text text now so import text and it is also having a setup I'll reduce up and this time let's change it to key 
I mean, it can be like that also, but uh, we actually easily understand the things with key and value words, basically. So, <laughs> and data will be outer or under user context. And now what we'll do is, uh, so our key would be in writable and we do have the iterable value of list. So we just need to join them. Okay. So how will we make sure that first name would be from the first and second name from the second? I mean, we are expecting the list of values to be in the same order because we are just generating them, right? I mean, you will not be sure that my produce framework will put the first name on the first location, second name on the second location. Okay, because in the list of values, how do we make sure that the word from the first name should come first and the word from the second, you know, name should come second? So not sure. But let's first image them and then if they are like in a reverse order, basically we need to do something for it. Okay. Uh, so what to do? Uh, so for every key, we need to generate the list of values and that list of values basically so we need to iterate it over, right? So for so we need to have like extended loop for text type A is equal to value. Okay. So So we need to like, you know, have the summation of both values. So what I will do is, um, string full name is equal to a dot get what I'm doing. Dot to string. So I need to like format the name, right? So um, full name. The second value well, should be like kind of concatenating concatenating to it. So, initially, uh, full name is nothing, right? So, you can just, you know, append it with prefix it with um, comma. Okay, let's, let's see what, what it will generate. And once like we do have the, you know, comma separated first name and last name appended, just write it with on text. Ah, uh, yeah, any history buffer can be used. But let's do that like, uh, we'll see that later how to make it more beautiful. Context start right. And, um, Key would be your new okay so basically uh, we have made it text text so just generate in write table let's have key also okay and so
so new key and value would be new text full name it is outside the inside of the for loop so it's like local variable for that success so we will define a string full name over here the local variable full name may not have been initialized Not sure how, how it will go. Okay, but let's run it now. Join job is still having problem. Why? Because intractable text. Okay, this unhandled exception. So just throw it. And that's it. Now disconnect, reconnect. So we need to put the first file uh, input output user. So input one, uh, create one more directory called make directory, create directory input two. Okay, just remove output. And what about this user? Okay, this is something else. So in input, uh, we just need to remove this one. Upload file to DFS, so those, that would be the first input, oh sorry, first name, first name, and it should be last name. There is it. Oh, it's a second. Now the bit, they both are there. Okay, and then output will be automatically created. So if we, we need to run, we need to create a run configuration for it. Means we can take it from here. So input one. Input to and output. I mean, you should know that how how high we are being in internally using this kind of joints. Okay, then we do have class path, so we need to this. Folders from resources, make it on top. Environment would be Hadoop underscore home. Click here, Bin will be automatically created. Apply. Done. Basically, it has done something now. Just refresh. Output would be one file with. That's what I was thinking is incorrect. The big data. One, two, three, four, five, six. But it is not giving us a summation now. 
here we are having trouble uh, now you should use string buffer then what convert from a string to string buffer so how it needs to be in a slide now check what i had done in my a dot a string name is equal to name plus okay <laughs> uh, this will also work So it is like prevailing what Hadoop, Big Data, Databricks, Spark, Storm, Streaming, Channel, Kafka, Machine Learning. So they are like coming in a sequence basically. I mean, yeah, you can use string buffer whatever you require, like just to make it more formatted way. But this is how like uh, it, it is appearing at the output. Okay. So we have joined the data. Okay. And uh, for the first key, we do have this is first name, last name, first name, last name, first name, last name kind of thing. Okay, so this is how you will perform a join, a reduce side join basically in MapReduce. Now, uh, first let's see the uh, image processing and then we'll see the MapSite join because I'm sure that MapSite join, as of now, like I could not have run it on my system successfully basically. It will take some time. So let's do map uh, the image processing part first. It is uh, first time I'm trying to show it. And then we will see so today we won't like have the longer class once we do with all these three i mean one two more examples basically if you have any remaining questions about like interviews and you know project preparations and all so <clears throat> so basically we can discuss that and we will see that. So let's do the image processing now. So for that, what we require is so uh, we do have one image file. Okay, that so if you open it, I, mean, I, I, I just try and I will just show you that how it looks like, how the images are like we are going to use. Okay, we have already it. So these are the that we are going to put it into HDFS, right? Now we will see that few of them are like kind of duplicates, just like these three are duplicates. It seems maybe we are not sure because when we visualizing them that they are like seeming to be equal or like identical. These are like kind of identical. These are three are identical. So we need to like now, but if you are having thousands of such images, they basically it is very difficult for you to now pick it up like which one is not duplicating or we just need to pick the unique one. The thing is when we store, it is going to be stored like in its binary format, right? So directly in that binary format, we can compare. So what is the logic of doing the image processing, at least for how to pick up uh, the distinct images basically. Okay, so let's say we have stored these images in HDFS and we are going to read them one by one. Okay. And for every image, we need to generate text. It's a key and value pair. So what would be the key and what would be the value basically? So key would be your byte write table. 
Okay, so y tilde w is like the equivalent binary value of this image as your key and text would be your path, directory path. So the path of this image would be this one. Hadoop, I have Hadoop 64 images and image 1.png is the path of this image. Okay, so key would be its binary equivalent or you can say then, you know, binary representation of this image in HDFS. And that's why you will use byte write tables as the key and text as the value that contains the path of this image. Okay, so now this logic will become now simpler. Why? Because for this one, it would be its binary equivalent as a key and its path as a text value. Again, for all this, we are doing the same thing. So now what will happen is that the binary equivalent of these, these and these and these and these, these five images, the binary equivalent would be a key and that key would go to the same reducer. So all this would be a single key plus values, list of values that contains the path of these images, basically. So we need to generate only the one because this byte writable, they are identical. So it means that all the list of values that contains the path of these five images, basically they are all, you know, pertaining to the single binary equivalent of data. So we can pick any one of them. So out of these five, we, if we pick this, this, or this, or this, or this, only one value would be unique. Okay, rest we can just discard. Are you getting me? So instead of, you know, in thinking too much, basically we are just generating key as a byte write table or binary equivalent of this image and value would be the path over which it is stored. Okay, and then just do the rest of the processing and we will get the unique paths of our data. Okay. Okay, now how to perform this use case is like download the files image. So I just shared this image is John. So let me share it right now. Maybe I have already done it. Okay, so these are tar image. Okay, <clears throat> I am uploading that Windows uh, Cloudera and uh, sorry Cloudera connector and Tableau. So by today I will try to you know share those as well. So Windows image is quite big, around four five four power five point some GB basically, but it will like give you an uh, you know a, you know liberty to you know install the w as much as many times as you want okay so it is like 14 days expiration period but you really want to work on some kind of use case where that longer duration of table is required basically so you can like save that overall you know content of table and then again reinstall it and then again import it and use it from that point okay now we are going to create image job so we should have
provide this class. Import log. Create job instance. Now, uh, what we do is file input format. File, but it should, I think, something else this time. Sequence file input format. Okay, so that is not the normal file input format. We need sequence input format. Basically, job, job, new job, but before that, what I'm going to do is like if if works not length not equal to two log dot fatal. Please provide two params exactly. System dot exit minus one. Sequence file input format which should come from like sequence file input format from here dot head input path job and new path so this is where we need to store our sequence data okay now what is sequence file The sequence file is anything that is stored as like kind of you know binary form. So it's a flat file consisting of binary key value pairs. Okay, key value pairs basically it is extensively used in MapReduce as input format, input output formats. It is also worth noting that internally the temporary outputs of maps are stored using sequence file. Okay, so basically it is a binary file. Resolved. Okay. Now <clears throat> output format set output path so here we will get our result as uh, the file in which we are providing the unique path basically okay so job new path or 
Roots. job dot set and put format class be your sequence file input format actually why we have not defined in other use cases the job set input format classes by because the by default text in format would be the text input format class, the default input format class for every map produced job. Okay. If you are using apart from that, you need to define that which text, which input format class you are using. Okay. So that's what we are actually trying here because sequence file input format is not the default file input format for any job of map produce, which is a default input format is text input format. Default output format would be text output format. Class so said jar by class job dot set job name Set map output key class would be byte write tables dot class job dot set map output value class would be text. Job dot set mapper class would be say image mapper dot class job dot set reducer class would be image reducer dot class job dot set number of tasks let's say one system dot exit job dot wait for completion true Map output key, map output value, set output key class and output value class. Okay, this also we need to define. But where is our mapper? Mapper reduce the map output set up. What is the set output key class and output value class? Text and null writable. So text and null writable. I'm not sure whether it is required or not. Let's see if we actually require them later on. So what we are doing here is now write a image mapper. Extends mapper value output would be bar. Okay, that's why I think we require map input or what is it?
so we are reading text okay so it's not no it is no longer long writable okay we are now reading the text directly in a binary form and generate byte writables out of it and output would be byte writables and text so byte writable would be the key and text would be here so this is actually the you know you know this is how you need to understand it, how image processing can be done. 